move on this morning to our next, our final two coaches. As I mentioned at the top of the hour, Coach Gill will be our last coach following our next coach, the head coach of the Kennesaw State Owls, Coach Brian Bohannon. Good morning, Coach. Hey, Mark. Uh, Owls moved to 4-1 and one with the big one over point. Uh, now you entered conference play. You can open up and talk about the, uh, this past Saturday's game, then we'll start taking questions and talking about league play. Well, I was proud of our team. You know, we uh, we had a tough loss at Dayton, and then we had to sit on it for an off week. And, uh, you know, with a young football team, uh, first loss, uh, wanted to see how they responded. Um, and I thought they they came out ready to play in all three phases. Obviously, there were some things we could have done better, but I thought they came out with a purpose, a very businesslike approach, and uh, and we were able to uh, to play well and, uh, and take control of the game. And uh, I was really proud of our kids, the way they approached it. All right, Coach, we'll start taking questions for you. Those who would like to talk to Coach Bohannon, go ahead and unmute your line, and then we'll start taking questions in a moment. But, Coach, the first question regarding this week, conference opener, uh, home game, of course, uh, on ESPN3, just the excitement of playing a league game and just uh, what, it, what you've seen so far from Gardner-Webb. Well, first of all, our, you know, our, our kids are awfully excited about playing in the Big South Conference. And, uh, you know, it's a great league, and, and, and I've had to keep them under control. They've been wanting to talk about it way before they needed to. But they're excited about it and excited about the opportunity. Obviously, we're playing a heck of a Gardner-Webb team who, uh, as everyone saw on Saturday night, they kind of put it all together. Um, the quarterback played awfully well. He's a big physical guy that's athletic, that's hard to tackle. Um, their, their front seven on defense is about as good as you'll face. Um, you know, obviously their nose guard everybody knows about, but they're, they're a mature bunch with some seniors that, uh, that are really good on defense, are playing really well on defense. They've been that way all year, and now with their offense clicking, um, you know, they're an awfully good football team, and it's going to be a heck of a challenge uh, for our young football team uh, to play the first conference game against a, a really well-coached uh, Gardner-Webb football team. And coach, from from what you observed, obviously, you know Tyrell Maxwell, a mobile quarterback, similar to Trey White, just kind of some of the similarities that you may see in Gardner Webb that you're able to to um, maybe that you've seen from your team, from how how you guys play, that might help with preparations. Well, he does a great job of making plays. I mean, you know, he he can pull the ball down and, and make plays with his feet. And obviously, we have a mobile quarterback in those teams that have mobile quarterbacks, but. You know, he's, uh, he does a nice job of that, and, and that's what always scares you on defense. When, when you got a guy that when things break down or some of them are in design that they can make plays, you know, with their feet, you know, it presents some problems. And uh, he's hard to tackle. He's very athletic, and uh, he does a great job. And like I said, he, he really took the game over offensively uh, and really took them down the field and did a lot of great things Saturday night. And uh, so it's going to be tough to defend. I mean, they do a nice job, and like I said, they made a lot of improvement. And uh, it's going to be a challenge for us. All right, this time we'll start taking questions for Coach Bohannon from our audience. Those who are on the call, uh, unmute your lines and go ahead and ask away. And hearing none, I'll go ahead and ask one more of you, Coach. Um, just the significance of playing Gardner Webb in your conference opener. You coached there. I think it was, I believe it was your first or second job as a football coach. You coached against them at Georgia Tech in 2008, uh, the last time they actually played in Georgia. But just kind of just how that all kind of comes together. Well, you know, I, I tell you the neat thing, I told the story several weeks ago. We, uh, shoot, we, Georgia Tech had to beat Garner Webb by blocking a field goal. And those guys came to Bobby Dodd Stadium and, uh, and, and, and we, had to, we had to block a field goal to win the game. They played unbelievable that day. And, uh, and Coach McCray's done a great job there. The kids are well coached. They know exactly what to do and where to go. Um, you know, they don't overcomplicate them. They get them to play hard. And uh, it's going to be a great challenge for us. Um, you know, Coach Fish, Woody Fish, works there in administration. He was, uh, he was the head coach when I was working there. Um, and he works there at Gardner-Webb now as well. But, uh, but at the end of the day, it's going to be about our players. And obviously Gardner-Webb's players going out and competing in the Big South Conference. And uh, we're awfully excited about the opportunity. All right, Coach. Any final questions for Coach Bohannon, feel free to ask. <clears throat> Coach, 
since I'm not hearing any, we'll go ahead and let you go. We're looking forward to uh, the Owls' first Big South game on Saturday against Gardner-Webb. Good luck. All right. Thanks, Mark. All right.